figure eight we're going to solve for the perimeter of an isosceles triangle. I am going to use the formula P equals A plus B plus A, where the missing side is A because it is the same as the other side. Next, we want to gather like terms. On the left hand side, there are no like terms. On the right hand side, I have an A and an A. So 1A plus another A is 2A plus B. Now I can start substituting my constants for my variables. There is no constant for P, so I just drag it down. I substitute A for 1 half and B for 1 third. P equals this 2 above here can be written as a fraction by using the invisible 1, so 2 over 1. 2 over 1 times 1 half plus 1 third. Reviewing how to multiply fractions from our previous unit, we just go straight across. So 2 times 1 is 2, and 1 times 2 is 2, and the one third over there. Next, there's nothing to do in the first part here, so I just drag down the two over the two, and then I'm going to multiply the one third by the whole number one, which can also can be a fraction of one over one. Uh, either way, it's one times anything is anything, so it's just one third. Next, I need to add my fractions together. So P equals, we need to find common denominators, I can use the traditional way of multiplying my denominators to get them. So I'm going to multiply 2 by 3, and the numerator then also has to be multiplied by 3. And the other side, I'm going to multiply 3 by the other denominator 2, and whatever you do to the bottom, you're going to do to the top. So then I get something that looks like this. 2 times 3 is 6 over 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1 times 2 is 2 and 3 times 2 is 6. Sharing the common denominator of 6, I can now add my numerators. P equals 8 over 6. You may also realize that you can reduce this to 4 thirds 